but I felt very weak this morning. Not sure why I decided to start running. Really? Uh, <laughs> Lots of puppy content. One thing I will never understand, I've got my life together. Actually sweating a little bit. Perfect. A Rottweiler puppy. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. I don't know about you, but the idea of journaling always seems very appealing. It seems very, I've got my life together. I have never been one to, actually, no, that's a lie. Between maybe 14 and like 16, no, 14 and 15, I had a phase where I would journal. It just seems very appealing. What I do love and what I am a big advocate for is to-do lists and calendars, diaries in general. I think every single person, no matter what you do for a job, needs some form of organization or like to-do list. Life-changing, honestly. I don't know how I functioned previously to having like a calendar, to, a to-do list, even writing things like wash your hair, make your bed, it makes you feel accomplished even if you aren't accomplishing necessarily important things. If it's just making your bed, having a shower, it just, trust me, makes a lot of a difference. The planners and like to-do lists and journals that I love are from Steph Pays. They are gorgeous. Every time I feature in a weekly vlog doing a to-do list or something, I always get questions where they're from. They are all from Steph Pays. Everything is just so aesthetic, so beautiful. So this is the home and work to-do list. We love her. So you can have one side, which is a home to-do list. So you could be like washing, clean the kitchen, change the sheets, etc. And then you can have your work to-do list. So for me, that's like editing and whatnot. I really would love to get into journaling, not necessarily like dear diary type of stuff, but just using something to just get my thoughts out onto a page. Something like this, which is like super simple. It's just a lined book like this, got like a light, kind of gray blue and then this really pretty pink one then we have this which is just gorgeous it's like a hard i don't know how you explain the cover of this like almost like canvasy this is much more structured than those ones obviously so this one actually has cues what advice would i give to my younger self what is one lesson i've learned in the past five years just like little questions like that and, and then you also have your like daily morning journal which would be so perfect to incorporate personally into my daily routine today i'm grateful for my focus for today is i am already enough because today i will achieve how will i contribute to reaching my goals just like little things like that which i think is super helpful for just being grateful for everything that we have when you actually articulate on paper things you're grateful for and like what you're trying to achieve you can actually focus on it rather than it just being up in your head that's me at least so what inspires and motivates me what habits would i like to start what habits would i like to break that's that's a good one actually. So if you're looking for something that'll help you with daily affirmations, mindfulness, even meditation, there's yoga stretches in here. I've actually been getting into doing handstands more often, which is not necessarily yoga. I love it because it's fun. And there's over 60 journal prompts to guide your journaling. I will leave all the Steph Pays info down below. Thank you so much for sponsoring this weekly vlog. My discount code is just Connor and that'll get you some money off the products. Yeah, I'm gonna get stuck into some work, get the weekly vlog ready to go, make the thumbnail. But I hope everyone's excited for this weekly vlog. Tuesday. I have gotten back from the gym. I've showered. I have a meeting with my manager at 10 a.m. So I'm just kind of on the computer about to do some editing and then probably get stuck into the rest of my to-do list today. Went to the gym this morning. This was the first, well, yesterday was my first session back kind of since lockdown and that one was all right. But this morning, just felt, everything felt very, very heavy. I did get some workout footage. It's kind of a similar to work, a workout to what I have 
shown you previously just it does just how it worked out um but yeah everything just felt super heavy and just i don't know i felt very weak this morning um but i'll insert some of the clips now if you want to see what we got up to i got my hands on your body so tell me tell me what you want me to do i can be good or be not in But this is going to be a very, very exciting vlog. Also, sidetrack, I, the last weekly vlog, I had like kind of in the way that like Georgia, um, Rachel and Soph, how they do their little like intros before their vlogs where it's almost like a little trailer. Usually I pick like one clip that I think is funny and I put it at the beginning. But let me know if you liked that or if you prefer the way I do it. I kind of liked it because it's like a little sneak peek into the vlog and stuff. Anyway, if you watched the last week's vlog, <laughs> at the end I showed a little puppy and a few of you were like oh my gosh whose dog like i have always said that i probably wouldn't get a dog until i was like established but probably the past couple months i've just been subconsciously thinking like it'd be nice to have a dog freya's got remy and yeah the past couple weeks i've been really thinking like i think i want to get a dog and i've always i've grown up with small dogs but i've decided i'm gonna get a Rottweiler, which I'm so excited for. We pick her up on Thursday. I was gonna get a boy, but we've ended up on a girl. I don't know why I'm saying we, she's gonna be my dog, by the way. I'm very, very excited. So stay tuned for lots of puppy content in the next few vlogs. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm gonna call her Charlie. I was tossing up between a few different names, like I wrote them on my phone. I was tossing up between Charlie, Riley, Nala, and Zara. <laughs> Very similar. Charlie Riley, Nala Zara. What's today? Tuesday. So yeah, gonna get her not tomorrow, but the next day. Might head out today and get some like stuff for her. I also have a lash lift this afternoon at three o'clock. If you don't know, Brisbane is no longer in lockdown. So we just have to wear masks. We've got like a few restrictions in place, but we are like free to go as we please. Tough thing, if you know what I mean. No, I believe Sydney's still in lockdown. I've also started my cut, or yesterday I tracked. I'm excited to get back into it and see what we can do physique wise. I feel like I need to put a trigger warning whenever I talk about this type of thing. I am very, very happy with myself and how I look and everything. It's just like fitness is a hobby for me. I'm just excited to see what I can do really, because I want to switch it up. So I've been eating the way I've been eating for a while now. So I'm going to stop rambling. And I'm going to get into some editing. This outfit, by the way, is from Sisters and Seekers. I ended up getting in that package that I said I ordered last week. I got this jumper. How cool is it? It just, what does it say? It says, adulthood would not recommend. <laughs> it's like a light heathered grey. And then I got these trackies, which are the perfect fit. And they're exactly the same colour as the jumper, which seems like... A given but I feel like it's not always the case yeah the trackies are so nice they're in a size 8 and then this is in a size medium I think super cozy and then I've just got white socks on so yeah because it's very very cold today how are you <laughs> hey, are you guys out of it now I followed up with like pretty much everyone um, yesterday so a lot of people have come back to me too. Yeah. 
then they need two gates to go through, so maybe we'll just do it all at the end. Yeah, so okay. So they were going to lock in some stuff with me. Emailing me every day now about it. Have you stayed there before? No. It reminds me of like a hotel in Greece, like the room. Yeah. to my eyelash appointment I find my second battery literally as I was just talking my camera ran out of battery but yeah it's only 3 p.m my appointment's at 3 this is what my eyelashes look like before I can't I got it done just before I went to Sydney which was over a month ago so it's been probably like six ish weeks um and they're honestly still kind of lifted um I probably shouldn't have makeup on right now because you're not meant to when you get lash lifts but I basically have just cleaned the whole house well, not the whole house what am I saying I've cleaned my beauty room which I was gonna film but I just got in it and I knew that if I tried to film it i probably wouldn't have done it as well that's good i'll leave where i go on the screen she does such a good job i don't know if i'm getting my brows done today probably not ah uh, but the lash lift honestly i used to get extensions for like a solid year and i much prefer a lash lift because it's much more natural i can rub my eyes um and i think i i, I like it better on me Anyway, I'm wearing the tracksuit still and I'm actually sweating a little bit. I got done with my lash lift. I think I literally nearly fell asleep at one point. That was very relaxing. But this is what they look like. We did like a slightly more darker brown tint this time. I also picked my skin before I left, which we shouldn't have done, but it looks so good. Lifted. I have very stubborn lashes, so I love getting a lash lift, but I'm gonna drive home now. Hopefully there's not too much traffic, but we'll see. Yeah, man, I remember being so naive 
When life was good, weather and palm trees. Back in the day, you were everything I need. But then along came a time when you crushed my dreams. Oh yeah, you played me like a fool when you made me believe that the line between love wasn't thick enough to read. Oh yeah, you see we in despair, crime everywhere. You're selling false hope 'cause you just don't care. Nah, uh, you just don't care. Nah, 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 you just don't, just don't care. Uh, you just don't. Still selling false hope 'cause you just. My God. My glasses are definitely crooked. I feel like I've learned that I like lightweight glasses, so quote unquote cheaper glasses, because the heavy ones indent my nose a lot and like make those marks. Super first world problem, no one cares. But hello guys, happy Wednesday. Feels like Thursday today. I went to the gym this morning. It was, it was very hard to get out of bed. I almost didn't go because it was freezing. It's still quite cold, but I've come home. I'm about to go for a walk because it's lovely weather outside and I want to get back into walking. I'm going to have a productive but chill day. I don't know if they exist. Don't know. So we're going to go for a walk. Probably not going to be like a, as big as one as I did last week. In like lockdown, it was like seven kilometers. Who knows? One thing I will never understand is people who can run. <laughs> Granted, in high school and like primary school, I was a very good sprinter. But long when it comes to long distance, nah. I cannot run for shit. When people are like, oh yeah, I just went for a 10K run. It took me like 40 minutes. I'm like, excuse me? I am very bad at running. Even one kilometer, I'm like, oof. Like if that's in a workout, I'm like, one kilometer, I just, my, I'm just not built for it. I wish I was. I would love to be able to do like a quick 5K. And like, I mean, maybe I should work up to that. Maybe I should do that. Like I've been seeing Matilda. She's been doing the couch to 5K thing. I think I tried to start that once. But running, I just think it's probably just never gonna be for me. So walking it is. For those of you who can run, you go girls and boys. The gym was good this morning. I went up in weight with my snatches to, which it's not heavy at all. And I think I was like literally the lightest one there, but that's fine. Cause it's all about the progress. Um, I feel like we're very overexposed, but uh, what was I gonna say? I did 30 kilos for my snatch. It was hard and I was very slow, but we're moving, we're going up and up and up. Yeah, gonna go for a walk now. It's still bloody free. And then I'm gonna have to have, then I'm gonna, <laughs> then I'm gonna come back, have a shower. I'm gonna go get my beats. We got that young love. We got that dumb love. Do I put my hair up? Not sure why I've decided to start running, but I need. Mean, I've been like walking and then running, like just if I feel like it. I'm not a runner, as I said before, but maybe not talk to myself or people around. We've done. I'm currently eating peanut butter on toast. I am about to head out to Kmart to get some goodies for Charlie tomorrow. My boyfriend's just about to pick me up. We're gonna get all those things. Um, we may need to bath her. It doesn't feel real yet, but I'm so excited. We're gonna go down tomorrow morning and bring her home. Oh, it's so cold though still. I'm wearing like stacks. I've got bread, bread comes all over me. I think that's him. Yes, feeding cloud. What do you reckon we get for the bowl? I get a big one. I would not get it at, <laughs> at all. Gonna that? Say, well, she's gonna, gonna use it later on. True. Either this or this one. This one's pure. Imagine. When you 
stepped into my life Such a magic feeling I tore down the walls I wish I could go back Right before you told me I'd try to change it all But look at us now I could have gone so far It hurts to realize we're parted Yeah, look at us now This is who we are and I just know things will never be the same Like strangers again, again, again introductions are required. This is the newest member of the fam. Her name is Charlie. Hey. It's actually Monday as I'm filming this because I've just been getting used to having her in my life. Obviously having a puppy is a big commitment so I've just been taking care of her but yeah I'm filming this on the Monday so it's a bit of a shorter weekly vlog but I just thought I'd film this at the end and introduce you to her. So she's a Rottweiler puppy. Ooh. She ooh. She wants to play right now. Remy's on the floor, but she and she is my puppy. She is like six and a half kilos, I think. She's a big girl, like the size of her paws. For someone who's never had big dogs is crazy. Also, Remy is fully vaccinated, if you're wondering, so she can be around him. But yeah, I'm so excited to include her in the vlog. She's so cute. Also, I, my nails have popped off, so I just pulled them off. I think I'm gonna have a break from them for a while, but also, <laughs> Let me not flip you off. My Anna Louisa ring has restocked. I knew it was restocking around mid-July. It just randomly got restocked. So if you want to check that out, it'll be, it's in my Instagram bio. Can't get enough of her. Look at that face. <laughs> She's like, mom, I don't want to be on camera. She is just too cute. I swear my camera roll right now is literally just videos of Charlie. I hope you like her. We can watch her grow over time. She's going to be a big girl. Her daddy was very big. Hey? Hey? Look at those paws. 
Um, if you're wondering how she's going with Kiara, they've been totally fine. Like, they're not best mates or anything at this point in time, but they, like, can exist in the same house. Like, there hasn't been any issues. Remy's excited to have someone to play with. We're just trying to house train her right now, get her to sleep through the night, all that type of stuff. So, yeah, they're just on the floor right next to me. Oh, also, I got in a package from this lovely brand on Instagram. They're called... Oh, my nails. They're called Kona or... Kona? No, Kona. Kona Designs. She DM'd me on Instagram and she sent me a couple phone cases. First of all, look at that. How stunning. It's almost like an iridescent kind of, what's the word? Like opalescent? Is that opalescent effect? Where's my, my phone? I've got it on my phone at the moment. But my phone is not here. Um, this is the phone case I've got on right now. So pretty. It's like a Peachy terracotta opalescent. I do struggle without a pop socket though. This is also the other jumper that I got from Sisters and Seekers, by the way. It's got like a little athletic dude and it just says, uh, new millennium everyday wear. <laughs> She's already got like the best personality ever and it's just gonna be really nice to have like that companion. Of course, I still love Kiara with all of my heart, but cats and dogs are very different creatures. So I can't wait to walk her and take her to like the dog beach and just have like companion, especially working from home. It'll be really nice to almost have like a friend, an animal friend, if you know what I mean, so. My house is currently covered in like those um, dog pads. Good thing we bought so many of them because she wees and poos everywhere. She's all right, like she does do it outside. Mm, nah, she's, I mean, she's a puppy. She doesn't really know, hey. Hey! Come on, let me show you. Charlie, Charlie. I do love her name. I think it suits her already. It's just like so cute. We've got a little pink collar for her. So Yes, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's my hair. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. She's literally just like a little grizzly bear. Aren't ya? You know, we need a grizzly bear. <laughs> I'm gonna go make my lunch now and then probably just like export this vlog as you're seeing it. The lighting is beautiful right now. Again. I thought we'd never fall. Could have tried much harder. So high, higher up than heaven, you said we reach the stars.